Hi, this is Tom Does Tech. I'm Tom, and in this video, we're going to learn how to integrate your Mongoose models with TypeScript to create strongly typed Mongoose models. We're going to look at two ways of creating strongly typed models using Mongoose generic type and TypeGoose. But firstly, let's talk about why we want to do this in the first place. So for this, we'll switch over to our user controller. You can see here that I'm creating a new user using the user model. And if we have a look at what the properties are on user, we can see that it's definitely a Mongoose model, but we can't actually see what properties the model has. So for example, we know that our user has an email address, but we can't see it. We know that the user has a first name, but we can't see it. So by adding our types to our model, we'll be able to tell other developers and ourselves what properties this model is expected to have. The first method we're going to use is to use the mongoose model generic type or the manual method. But the first thing we need to install the mongoose types package from definitely typed. We'll now switch over to the user model and you can see that in here we've created a user interface that extends document which comes from the mongoose package. The next step is to add our user interface to our mongoose model generic. So we can use the greater than, less than syntax, pop that in there, we save that. And then when we come over to our user controller here, we can see we now have our properties from our user interface on the model. And it doesn't give us any errors when we try to use it. The next method we're going to look at is using TypeGoose. TypeGoose is a package available on NPM, and it allows you to combine both your types and your schema into one class. So you can see here that we've defined a class called pet, and the class has two properties, a name and an owner. And then we export it with this get models for class method. If we then pop over to our pet controller, we can see that our pet has the name property and the owner property. The next thing that I would like to add is not necessarily related to Mongoose, but is related more to just TypeScript. So we can see here that our owner is type iUser and the ID property on this user interface. So we could just define this as a string and that would work perfectly well because the ID is just a string. But by defining it as the user's ID, we're being explicit in what we expect to go there. And we're telling other users, other developers, exactly what this Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something. If you have any feedback, please leave it in the comments section below. And you'll be able to find all the code for this tutorial on GitHub.